Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Hey there, curious cats. Today we're going to uncover the mystery behind a sweet treat that's often associated with Easter. You guessed it, hot cross buns. We hope you find some useful nuggets in our video. Do like and subscribe to keep your curiosity satisfied. Mmm, these are delicious. But wait, what do hot cross buns have to do with Easter? Let's find out. Our journey begins in medieval Europe, where hot cross buns were first created. Legend has it that a monk from St Albans Abbey named Brother Thomas Radcliffe was the first to bake these buns and marked them with a cross as a symbol of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. His creation, called Alban Bun, was distributed to the poor people who lived around the abbey on the Friday before Easter, starting way back in the 1300s. But why the cross, you may ask? Well, it represents the crucifixion of Jesus, and the spices used in the bun represent the spices used to embalm his body before burial. Fascinating, isn't it? Well, some historians argue that the tradition goes back even earlier to ancient civilizations who used to bake bread in the shape of the sun as a tribute to the sun god. Fast forward to modern times and hot cross buns are a beloved Easter tradition around the world. They're usually made with spices like cinnamon and nutmeg, and dried fruits like raisins and currants. Yum! And of course, we can't forget the classic song that goes along with them. The song Hot Crust Buns is a traditional nursery rhyme that originated in England and is believed to have been created to promote the sale of hot crust buns. During the 18th century, street vendors would sell hot crust buns during Easter and they would chant a catchy rhyme to attract customers. Over time, the rhyme evolved into this familiar version we know today. So there you have it, Curious Cats, the story behind hot cross buns and Easter. And if you're wondering why I'm looking so bunny, well, that's because bunnies are also associated with Easter. But that's a story for another day. Until next time, stay curious cats. <laughs> <laughs>